。对于瑞典检方结束对北溪事件调查的决定，瑞典跨国和平与未来研究基金会智库创始人奥贝里在接受总台记者采访时表示。以所谓缺乏管辖权的说法结束调查，或许是瑞典方面在规避任何可能发生的冲突的考量下做出的最优选择。奥贝里表示，目前瑞典正处于即将加入北约的关键时期，因此瑞典政府在此期间很可能希望避免一切可能动摇其入盟前景的冲突或不确定性事件，故而选择缺乏管辖权这种最简单的方式，摆脱在当前北溪事件调查中的困境。并将调查责任转移给丹麦、德国和波兰等其他国家。Sweden is about to become a member of NATO, very close to, as far as we can see, and it has also recently concluded bilateral agreements with the United States about 17 base facilities all over the Swedish territory. By the way, where the jurisdiction will be American and not Swedish. There's no doubt that it is in Swedish political interest to avoid conflicts. Prosecutors' only argument for doing this is that Sweden does not have a jurisdiction over this area.、Um, now, I must also ask: Did they not know that one and a half year ago that they didn't have jurisdiction or didn't want jurisdiction? Or, secondly, did they find something that pointed? In the direction of the United States, in such a way that it, the argument of jurisdiction came up as a handy,、uh, a handy argument、uh, after one and a half year to get out of the whole thing. Al Bailey 还指出，瑞典方面结束北溪事件调查的决定，从另一个侧面说明，他们并未掌握俄罗斯参与该事件的相关证据。Finally, had they found, and that's the fourth point, had they found traces of Russia, I think they would have. Argued for jurisdiction, and that we would have seen very interesting headlines all over the Western media, or at least in the Swedish Nordic media.